Hi everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Today we're working on something totally different. Um, we're not at the workshop as usual, but you all may recognize this van. Yep, we're working on this today. And what we're gonna be doing is put some light on the chrome bars all around, all the way around it. And the sort of lights we'll be fitting, these style, the bullet lights. Close to 60 lights is going on this van, on these bars. So we're actually in August. Um, so you won't actually see this video till next month. Um, the van is absolutely stunning. Um, it's literally out of this world. The whole design and every little detail has been thought of. So, and I've noticed something when I went down to look underneath. I do like this eggs, bacon, milk, pepper, bread and ham. The perfect breakfast. So, I'm gonna sit you up on a time lapse because I've got to pull some LED light strips off the bars first. We've got to disconnect them. We've got to tape the bars off, mark them up and drill them. So you'll see some of this process, bits and pieces of it. I'm not gonna film the whole of it, but I'll do a time lapse of me taking off the LED strip taking the sidebar off and then we I'll show you what we're going to do when we drill it Right, so now we're back inside and we've got the bar on the workbench. So I need to tape it up and mark exactly where we're gonna put those um, lights in. Right, so now we've marked up the bar, we need to centre punch the hole and then drill it. So I'm going to bring you closer to the table so you can see this. So I use one of these sprung loaded centre punches. So put it on there. Now we use a pilot drill, 
or a small drill bit to drill a pilot hole. Now we take a step drill bit. Now these are three quarter inch lights. Now this goes up to three quarter inch. So I need to hit the step drill bit. If you look, I don't know if you can see on there, it's marked the size all the way down. So, so I need to go all the way down through. Because that's quite big, that ended bit. So I'm putting a small one through the hole first, make the hole a bit bigger. That's all about making life easy for yourself. So first of all, gone through with the pilot hole, then I went down on two steps on that one. And because that's quite a wide, bit at the end. Now we can go all the way down through. we've got tape around it and everything but what we'll do for the moment just so I can show you just for demonstration purposes these are the bullet lights and they come with this rubber housing for the LED light so what we do put that in slot that in place And then that wire will be fed through there. And the LED light will be pushed in there nice and tight. I'm not going to push it in there too tight because I won't be able to get it back out. So there you go, that's one. I've just got six more to do now. So now I've got six more to do. I'm going to set you up over there on time lapse. And we'll get this done. Because once I've done this seven... I've then got to put six more holes in the bottom of the bar for some other lights. So I'm going to time lapse this lot. I'm not going to put any more on here because this video will go on forever. And once I do one of the corner bars, I'll show you what they've done on the corner bars. And once they're all done, um, we'll get a video of it all done.
Right, so now we've actually pulled the wires through all the holes. Yeah. Let me show you those. All ready to wire up these lights. And that's one end being worked on at the moment. Right, so we're getting there. What we've got to do, we've got to solder those lights onto the cables on each one of those cables. So there's two, you've got two positives and two negatives because I'm not going to draw a diagram and put it on there, but each wire will feed the next light. And um, I'll just leave this on a time lapse so you can actually see us wiring it all in. And why Simon wires all that in, I'm going to get one of the other bars off and start drilling the holes, prepping that one ready. Right, there is something to note about these bullet LEDs that we're using. As you notice, there's a black and a white wire. So determining your live and your negative, um, you need to find that out first. And what we've done is we're using a bench supply to test each and every one of the bulbs to make sure they work. Because the last thing you want to do because we're fitting somewhere between 50 and 60 of these today in this van. The last thing you want to do is get it all wired up, all put in, switch it on, and you've got one or two bulbs that don't work. We do have some extras to put in just in case. So I'm going to show you on the power supply that we've got in front of me. Right, so if I turn that on. Right, just to show you. The white is the negative, and the black is the positive. So the white is the negative on this. So the white is the negative, and the black is positive. Now if I switch it around the other way, you'll see it won't work. So yeah, just remember when you buy these, or any lights or anything that's got different cables on, check the polarity of the wires first. Again, you don't want to get it all wired up and realize you've done it wrong. That's just a couple of things to note, really. Um, so yeah, we try to, so we try and sort of give the best advice we can on these things. But yeah, you know, you're expecting red and black, white and black and even the black is live not um negative so yeah just something to note right so we've actually finished wiring one of the bars up and we've connected it to our power supply do you want to have a look look at that there's two of the lights in the rest are all hanging all soldered on properly and let me explain what we've done. So as the wire, one couple wire comes in, one's going out to the next one, they've been shrink wrapped together to hold them both in place, then soldered and shrink wrapped onto the light. So let's show you putting one of these lights in. So we'll do this one handed. Right, so there's the rubber grommet. You feed the rubber, gr rubber grommet in the hole, like so. Twist it so it's fully in place. And then we feed the wire back through. And push the light fully, seat it. In the grommet. So there you have it. Now we've got to do is feed the rest in and fit it back on the van. Just to show you, there's a total of 13 bulbs or 13 LED lights, uh, bullet markers, on that light bar. Just to show you, if you can see the power supply, 
it's drawing less than two amps, 0.19 amps. So yeah, that whole bar is pulling less than 0.2 amps. The actual rating on the lights when they come, they say they draw 0.4 amp each one. And so that's a result, even if I say so myself. Um, so once they're all in, and once all the bars are done, they're back on the uh, van, we'll light it up and it is gonna be daylight. So you're not gonna get much effect from it, but I'll tell you what, if we can get as much done as we can tonight and get it wired up, we'll switch it on tonight. But all in all, it's looking really good. I've got spots in my eyes now, I shouldn't look at them too long. Anyway, so once the actual van is done, once they've all been put back on and wired up, we'll flick the switch and we'll show you exactly what it looks like. Um, a bit later on in the video though, I might actually explain, or before this, I might even put a bit in about the relays, how to wire up a relay. Um, but we'll, we'll see a bit later about that one. Anyway, I need to crack on. I've got lots more drilling to do and I've got lots more wires, wires to feed through. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome back. It's the second day of the Renault traffic uh, sidebar lights or chrome bar lights being fitted. Right, so as you see by the photos just now, we've done the front, the sides, and we're now working on the back end of the van. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna try and explain a little bit of how this all works. Right, from the bar over there, there's a wire going from the back of the, no, sorry, there's a wire going from the front of the van up to this bar. Uh, then it wires all the link, it's all linked in that bar, and then it comes out via this wire. There's a wire down here. Right, so the wire I'm holding here goes from that bar down there and it links into here, onto this light here, the red light. So then a wire comes out of there, will link up to the blue light there. The wire comes out of there, going back down to the red light there, then going back up to that blue light, then going back down to this orange light, and back up to a blue light. That goes back down to an orange light there and finally ends up at one wire at the end of that, which is the last light in the circuit, um, will be the blue light. Try and explain this a little bit, just so you can see how it all works and how it all goes. It's complicated, but it's not once you've got a nice little system running and um, you know exactly what you're doing. Feeding the wires through the bar, all we've used is some stiff brown wires like out of twin and earth core cable, um, which is used in a house. Um, we feed that through from one hole to another, tape the wire and pull it through. Right. I'm gonna finish off soldering these because I've got to say that red and that red done and that red done. Oh, sorry, that's an orange, not red. I'm not going colorblind just yet. I've got to put the last orange on there and the four blues. So once all those lights are now wired up, I'm gonna take the bars outside and fit them. And what I'll do, I'll do a time lapse of me fitting the bars back on the van. And you can see for yourself the finishing touches. And at the end of that, we'll get some video footage of the van fully lit up at night. Now I'm gonna rely on the customer to send that to me because by the time I finish this, it's still gonna be daylight. So fingers crossed you'll get a bit of footage at the end of this as well. So I'll be back to you shortly.
Right, so this van is now complete. All the lights are on. Um, let's just show you from one side. So on the back there, he's gone for two reds on each side. And oranges all the way around the side. Right, so the lights are powered by a switch panel, which was already installed on the dash. And it was running off of that switch there. Now, we did already have the wires hanging down for the switch. So the switch has gone into this relay here, just here. And if you look at all these cables coming up, just here and here, there's four of them. Now, two bars at the back are wired together and the one wire coming forward. And each one of those cables represents a bar on each side in the front. We've got a fuse coming directly off of the positive of the battery going into the relay and all the necessary earths as well. So that's all the system now wired in and it's working, all the lights are working. Um, so the relay provides an extra bit of safety um, for the lights and the switch, so you don't have that much power in the van because um, the switch power is nominal compared to the power going through that relay for the actual lights themselves. Anyway, so that's another job done. Customs happy and be going away shortly. So I'm afraid that's all we've got time for here at Built and Bought Campers. And by the time you see this, it's going to be many, many weeks later. We'd have been to a few more shows and hopefully even spotted the van at another show. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day. Hope you're staying safe, staying well. And it's bye for now.